With Ekezayo, we delve deep to hear an amazing tale of addiction recovery. We try out something new with a nutritious and delicious recipe. Stay in style with the latest news fresh from the runway. See the opinions and beliefs on this topic, Zabantu Basem Zanzi. So as we all know, addiction is not something that's really easy to speak about. As was we look at addiction, it's like the little demons that we all have inside of us. But fortunately for us, we have with us Uputi, who is very strong and very willing to come and open up about the addiction. And of course, as you know, education in Malekile, we have our expert in studio. So please welcome Oput Khoto, Mrs. Tulu. Welcome to the show. Thank you for having yeah. us. My name is Khoto. I am 36 years old. I am a professional software developer. I am, however, a businessman as well. So I have left active employment and I am self-employed. I run an online grocery shopping store. I have a construction company. I have very little secrets. What you see is what you get. I mean, I've just exposed that I'm an addict and an alcoholic. Um, as for my motto in life, life is too short. Get up, dust yourself off, move on. As for hobbies, I might get into trouble with my girl. Um, <laughs> bird watching. Um, apart from that, I enjoy watching movies. I am an ardent fan of rock and roll. Um, hardcore rock, no how. Um, still a gassy boy. I am an activist at heart and believe in empowerment. So, I'd like um, you to tell us more about the addiction. Um, my addiction I can pinpoint to further than just taking my first drug. Um, I equate the addiction with more than just the physical taking of a drug. Yeah. It's more an issue. I felt an emptiness. I felt I was not really worthy enough. I was never good enough. That build-up led to me when taking my first drug to actually feeling like this is closing all these cracks that I find in my character. So it was you first, it wasn't the drugs first. It was, it was you first before you got there. So if our mind was a little baby drug in Jani, a bit hard? I am, my drug of choice but we crack cocaine. Um, which I have been clean for for exactly 17 months now. Yeah. Hey now. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Well yes, ma'am. <laughs> yeah. And it it really hasn't been easy, but um, having a support um, as well as just knowing Uba, the drug is actually a power greater than myself, mm. and therefore I needed a power greater than me and the drug to defeat mm. uh, the addiction. Yeah. Mm. I will never be cured of the addiction. I will always be an addict. It's just that I'm an addict who's recovered from active using of a drug as opposed to actually an addict who has been cured of his addiction. Yeah. I will forever be an addict. Addiction is when someone takes in a substance, jengo kyuala or nicotine, or engages in an activity like gambling so often that it interferes with their ordinary life responsibilities and becomes compulsive. It is usually a pleasurable thing that gives them a certain sense of gratification at first. In some addictions, the body adapts to the presence of a drug, causing the drug to no longer have the same effects as before. Many addicts remain unaware of the negative effects of their addictions on their own and other people's lives. Unfortunately, Uguti, we live in a world that promotes addiction. In, in what sense we live in a society which says, give it to me, give it all to me, give it now. Yeah. I want to be happy now, I want to mm. take the pain away now, I want to have a girlfriend now. Mm. Um, it's, it, it's bordering on, on a situation whereby it is addiction in itself because mm. the addiction is a disease of obsession for me. Nah? as well as then once that obsession takes root is me feeding that obsession yeah. unfortunately it triggers an allergic reaction in my body which says now you can't stop mm. and i just have to carry on mm. i would guess that the best way you get up is to the professionals right so now from your side when as a, a professional when it comes to those addictions and medical what not what not what is addiction in layman's terms, what doesn't addiction? Addiction is, is a permanent chronic disease. It is, it is characterized by relapsing, meaning that you'll go through 
many attempts before we can say that you fully recovered or you are on that process of recovery. Mm. It, it is very harmful and it is a reward-seeking behavior. It, it, it also requires one to just abstain from the behavior or you abstain from the substance that you are fully dependent on in order for you to recover and in order for you to just continue living. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay, so like, what are the most serious addictions that you guys know of? Because I know people about I have a phone, some people out there. Hey, <laughs> you know, all those crazy things. So what, 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 what comes to your head? What are the silly addictions that you know? Fixing things that are crooked and making them straight. Uh -huh. I had an interesting one whereby if I would kick a rock while walking, I would have to kick it with my other foot as well, or else I would not be able to move. <laughs> <Interesting>. <laughs> Very interesting. It like, is. <laughs> and then lose limas and up so that you can move. Yeah. Corporate <laughs> and use it. <laughs> well, the the one that I once came across in in my line of of of, of working yeah. was when we admitted someone who was fully addicted on uh, what is this? You know the furniture spray that we used to to <gasps> clean at home. Where is that? No, they would like inhale it. Ah, wow, South African is very nice. But when you make me laugh, when you make me laugh, when you make me laugh, when you inhale his spray, it means to try to laugh and laugh. But let's hear from you guys. But Nina, as don't get any any of these addictions. Believe we will learn to learn about substance abuse. That's more shapara. That's more shumzimba. Since the. Substance abuse in Tolorin, a casuishi filo cabo pillo, because Rofelicha o la Tabo Camusovara won't you consume too much of alcohol, you know. We believe that from a young age, if we are a boy, we inquire and go up for the Kachinis, Jangabang, um, they were long up for the, but the Asambelanga cool name theatre law, because once believer I enter in, you are open to now up for the child. And peer pressure, if we taller at a young age, it will only have bit empty. Whereby, Nagunete Lele, also Lego Hotel, Hoba Tata Hotel. They might consider rehab, yeah, as the best way to help that particular person recover. We give him support. Simfa, Sambuza, are you open? Guti, Ungaya, go rehab. This is Samfara Kona, go rehab. So that the necessary help with that group again in people. You love fatty, Hibuelena, Hugo, Mata Taiking, if Elemotabatan Tuso, Otabu or Robata Tuso, Hibonetella, Oya Pelejo, Mutu. From a Kaya Fede, it's help. Funny about Funero, my something Yana, or my rehabilitation center, young son, Zintos Ganshan. So, Sanka says, but in this day and age, I go into a powerful Jenga social media. So, Katina, as you know, I'm going to get a place to go social media to go ask what you guys want us to talk about on the show. If you have any comments or any health related questions, you can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram on at Nandi underscore me. Nandi me. Nandi me. The, the other influence along with the, the tradition practices and the cultural practices that we, we, we have as um, the African people, I'm mm. say. Mm. Gore, sometimes you'd find Gore now because, okay, maybe I got a promotion at work, then I, I need to do a, a ceremony, you know, mm. for, for my ancestors just to thank them and everything. Obviously, there'll be brewed alcohol there. Mm. You'll have snuff, you'll have bibinyana, which looks like weed, mm. and then, you know, uh, males, will be <laughs> males will be expected to have a zolonyana, and, yeah. and, and unfortunately for others, that's where it all starts, you know. You start taking uh, smokeless tobacco, which is snuff, mm. and unfortunately, we also have older people addicted to that. Yeah. It is a drug, and most people are not aware of what it's Snuff is actually a drug. And the other thing, Hapikuri, uh, in my experience, we've had stories whereby a person would go to an initiation school. Mm. There, you are required, Hori, by the time you come back, you should be a man, you know. Mm. And in order for you to show that you're a man, you start drinking alcohol, you start smoking, yeah. only to find that you, are, you, you have that addictive personality, and mm. that's where it all starts. So when I go to uh, my personal, the time is into as non-delicious. And when I say non-delicious, I refer to food. 
I love food. I, I could literally die for food. But back on the addiction, you're good. You know? Plus, it's weird in the way. So, what, 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 what's your take on food addiction and, and why do people get into in their comfort food? Um, yeah, I, I love my food too. <laughs> so, <laughs> um, however, and, and, and true, when you get to a place whereby it gets comfortable to yeah. eat, just to take away pain or just to, you know, be in your own little space and just find your darkness. Mm. You know, it, it tends, and I've realized with me, it's produced almost the same type of euphoria mm. that my other addictions, as well as my alcoholism would produce. You know, mm. so food, so the same chemical yes, whatnot you know, in the brain. Ah. yes, I, I have the same type of feeling because it's a feeling of relief. It's a feeling of being at ease, a feeling of comfort, a feeling of I don't need anyone. I, I am back to being this God or the greater power that I need, mm. you know, and, and it sort of just blurs the line because truly that also is very addictive. For the recipe who's out there, I'm a kind of onion, I'm a onion, i garlic, i rosemary, i spice as in bean, i standard, i lean mints, i sonka, i standard, i'm busy. Soka, i sonka, sako, i'm busy. Break your mints into a bowl, add seasoning to your chopped onion, yako, ne mints, ufake na makanda, uzamise. Mold your mince into a patty. Add one tablespoon of oil to a pan yako echisayo. Place a patty yako into the pan and fry your patty until golden brown. Lay bread on a plate. Spread tomato sauce on your bread. Add lettuce. Add your patty. Garnish with tomatoes and lettuce and enjoy your mnan delicious burger. Ungalibali, you can find our Nandi meal recipes on our Facebook and Instagram page. So, my guest in studio, as you can see, is the vibe, the fun time. So, there's a game that I love playing with my guests and my experts, right? Mm -hmm. So, the topic is now, snake game, so So, today, obviously, the addiction. So, can you meet that I like you to bust? So it's like, I'm myth, and then when you'll tell me why it's true, or false, or trolls. So I'm going to say Right, I guess all the first myth is, addiction is a choice. <laughs> Both false, okay? So I'll just give you 10 seconds each to elaborate why you're saying false. Addiction, no one chooses to be an addict. The only choice that a person makes is to use the substance, but you do not take, you, you do not choose for it to just take control over your life. Lovely. Um, just to elaborate, maybe on that, I never knew I was an addict up until I had taken my drug of choice and my first alcoholic drink. So it was never a choice, I just went for the substance tree mm -hmm. and the rest just came through by itself. Right. Ah, okay, so true or false? People are usually addicted to one type of substance. How are you two today? <laughs> you are those people. All right, please elaborate. Why? <laughs> Why false? We do have people suffering from dual addiction. You might find that a person is addicted to a certain substance, and mm. then they also. Um, present with a certain type of behavior, you might find that you are also addicted to sex or you are addicted to shopping. I identify with both the addictions. Yeah. Um, but also remember, addictions don't come in substances. Addictions come in people. Yeah. So people are able to cross addict mm -hmm. and people can take whatever substance and be addicted to yeah. that substance. So I am the problem, not the substance. Asha! True or false? Once an addict, Always an addict. That's so heavy, guys. Once an addict, always an addict. Always an Even addict. Even after rehabilitation, I still call myself an addict. A recovering addict. Yes. Recovering addict. Mm -hmm. okay. so. Addiction can never be cured. You only have a daily reprieve, and it's contingent on certain things that you do. 
and it's only on a daily basis. Um, I don't know where I'll be tomorrow. Once you stop using, for instance, whatever kind of substance that you're fully dependent on, it doesn't mean that you're no longer an addict. Mm. There's a whole lot of other issues that needs to be dealt with. And if at all you're not going to be dealing with those issues, then it will be like you're just stuck in recovery, you're not going anywhere. But then even after you haven't used for like 10 years, mm. you're still recovering. Quick, last one. Uh, People don't need treatment, they can just stop when they want to. Finally, yes! <laughs> oh, but now no, that's trolls now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is interesting. Okay, why, why is this trolls? Well, that's a very tricky one. That's a very tricky <laughs> one. So? Because depending on the kind of substance that you're fully addicted on, like mm. for instance, heroin. Mm. Heroin, you do need treatment in order to recover. And sex addiction, for, for argument's sake, you don't really need any kind of medical treatment in order for you to, to overcome it. And you, Bunkoso? There might be people who are able to walk away from it, even though they have been caught up in it. Mm -hmm. uh, but then you'll have addicts like me, like really almost down and out. Mm -hmm. And um, there's different types of treatment. Um, some psychological, mm -hmm. some will be medical, and, and some are just therapeutic in it in a manner that I'm talking to another addict or I'm talking to another alcoholic yeah. Yeah. and I'm able to heal through that. Thank you. None in me. Two unexpected things are coming back into fashion this year. The first is cool stripes. Whether they go up and down or sideways, stripes will be part of the look and come into both formal and casual wear. The second thing is tie-dye, not let dye as you clearly layer your gorda. Tie-dye is getting an overhaul and forming part of an overall design more than just a statement. These tie-dyes are colored in layers and live large parts of the garment with no more than two colors to balance off the white look with a more toned back feel. Nani me. Ukubani style funega uzazu ba ungubani na. So we took it to the streets of Mzansi to check out what's in style and trending. A splash of color adds fun and flair to any season's current trend. Stripes and sun hats look good together and is great for the outdoors. Don't forget to take pics and post them online. Nani me. Okay. So, when I meet him, then I'm just telling us or someone by as near as it's true, as near as it's false, as near as it's trolls, go by young and take my back like I'm trying to account to a lula, account to a clear. But I have an addiction that I'm not afraid to speak up about, and that is gym. So, I'm about to take my guest and my expert to the gym and some of us are cool, panja and ningalea me addiction. Let's get it. Nani me. Nani me. All right. So, Sisulu, you had my confession earlier, right? Mm -hmm. Now, I want to know, can exercise be an addiction? If so, is it a good one or a bad one? Well, definitely, exercise can be addictive. It is not an exercise per se or the activity that's the problem. It is just the behavior around it. If you become too much obsessed, then that's where it Oh, but what if I want to look like... You know, and have nice legs. Limits. And that should be a good obsession, isn't limits, it? Limits, the limits, limits, levels, yeah. right? <laughs> okay, so with you, Purkoso, did you find exercise as a way or as a form that helped you with recovery from addiction? Now that I actually think of it, yeah. Um, walking, meditating, it just gives you that release. Yeah. You know, so yeah, it, it has actually benefited me quite a bit. Ah, I'm glad. Trust me, that release is something that I know very well. So as we all know that exercise can be one of the best remedies for any addiction. It helps you distress. right. Now with that said, let's go to my favorite section where you guys are going to exercise with me. Why are you so though? We'll see. <laughs> all right. So this is how it works, right? So when I'm a push-ups, and I'm going to give you guys 30 seconds each. So you must just do as much as you can. After that, I'm going to and I'll put you on our board so that you can see what you win. We'll go pick up my rankings, right? So who are we starting with? I was about to say ladies first, but I'll go right. for it. Okay. <laughs> it's my time up. It's my time. Ready? Ready? All right. Okay. In three, two, one, go. And your time is up. <laughs> right. How, about, how much is that? 
2025, 26. How well done with Pushil and done. So while we check this out, I'll s come on. Give me some girl power. Eh? Give me some girl <laughs> power. Eh? I'm allowed to be on my knees, right? Yeah. Sure. Yeah. For the ladies. Alfred. For the ladies. Right, thank is, you. is my time is my time ready? Yeah. And go. Twenty six. To end your time is a very time is a very time is a check it. This will have a deal. Thank you so much, congrats, guys. Give yourselves a round of applause. Wow. I'm waiting for your pictures to come. <laughs> so the scores are actually 26 for Putkhoto and 27 for Austin. Austin, I said, I'll just show you. Yeah, Putkhoto. Yeah, you will learn. It is not famous. Because it's fucking 20. It's 27 and 30 seconds. I would hold over two with 26 in 30 seconds. I think it's quite a guys. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining me. What I went to, yeah, for you, Banani, for many addiction, you know, if I'm a controlled, controlled. right? Yeah. A controlled. Yeah. That's it. Thank you. Nani, me. So, Nikhil, you go up and get some Zimkile and Tiak Ring and Kangi Mal. When I occupy an island, you're going to tea, John, I was a Benza, where Enza in Mali, but you're just not making enough about Tengas and doing Gulu or for night. I also feel like that sometimes. Come on, my lap. Ukwanga in Mali is one of the most important things you could do with it and helps to protect your finances against future events. It also gives you more opportunities to do big things with your money. Ukwanga in Mali, think of something you can save towards, Jenga Dream Holiday or University Education. Then put away a sum of money every month. Because Kumbula, you will have interest rates to help make your money more. That's why Ibalekile to save into an account with a trustworthy financial institution who will tell you the truth about their interest rates and will give you information about how much your money is growing. Yebo, 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 yes. Okay. Unfortunately, guys, that is the end of the episode here. And I'm Shanja Aparum Nandimi. Thank you so much for learning with us in gay addiction. But you're fine. I'm going to call you So, Bonana, next week, same time, same place. Your phone and your fitness. Don't, don't. But we are in Kumbula. I'm going to on Instagram and on Twitter on at Nandi underscore me. From now, Uzola. Shallow fit. Shallow sex. I'm going to pull into one. See you next week. <laughs> With Breast Cancer Awareness Month in October, we hear the true story of an inspiring woman who overcame the odds. See how Ukuja can help you not only feel better, but also take care of your body. And check out the leaderboard to see how our guests are battling it out. And find out what Mzansi thinks and believes about breast cancer.